edge of the Andes is a natural miracle. This is some of the world's most unspoilt rainforest. It's a top hotspot for biodiversity, with an estimated one million species of bugs alone. This is the Amazon basin of Peru, and through its heart weaves the Manu River, a life-giving highway around which amazing communities of unusual and endangered species thrive. balance keeps this ecosystem in optimum condition. The relationships between plants, animals, climate and geography are complex. Everything relies on everything else to work. And everything feeds on everything else to survive. best known of all is the relationship between the big meat eater and the smaller vegetarian. This time the vegetarian in question is the peccary, the new world's answer to a wild pig. Peccaries abandon their own meal at the first sign of danger. Peccaries aren't completely docile, and the jaguar knows this. With five centimeter tusks, they'll viciously attack a predator if one of the herd is wounded. Of course, the jaguar doesn't always succeed. Otherwise, there would be no more peccaries in Manu. Howler monkeys up in the canopy don't need to worry about predation from the ground. Their calls can be heard for kilometers and are used to guard their territory. Like peccaries, howlers are vegetarians, spending most of their day consuming vast quantities of rainforest leaves. Thirteen species of monkeys live in Manu, more than any other place in the world, and that's a lot of leaf stripping. The forest canopy gives protection, food, easy travel and good visibility for the monkeys and their predators. One of the most fearsome is the rare harpy eagle. With a spread of talons, each a whopping 13 centimeters long, this bird can easily throttle a monkey.
one less leaf-ravaging monkey for the canopy. The male harpy wasn't hunting to sustain himself. He's providing for a family in a dead Brazil nut tree. The mother and chick await his return. Although not the largest of eagles, harpies are the strongest feeding on monkeys and tree sloths that weigh up to four and a half kilos. The male's job is done once he delivers his kill. Both parents bring food to the nest but only the mother feeds the two-month-old chick. Everything but the bones is consumed, even the monkey's skin. Nothing here goes to waste. Energy from the sun, caught by leaves of the tree and chewed by a monkey, now goes to strengthen the mother eagle and her chick. A yellow tufted woodpecker shares the harpy's tree. Too small to serve as prey, it's merely a curiosity for the male harpy. There's plenty of others to choose from. Manu is home to a staggering 1,000 species of bird or more. 11% of the world total. Noticed by the animals, struggles on a bigger though quieter scale are all around. A seemingly innocent fig tree attracts the attention of scarlet macaws. Fig trees fruit unpredictably, and when they do, they provide food for a wide variety of rainforest animals, vegetarian and omnivore. The figs don't last long. The vast majority are quickly eaten before they can ripen and fall to the ground. But this feeding frenzy is no loss to the fig tree, and there is a reward for giving away its fruits. Its seeds gain a ride in the bellies of the animals and travel far throughout the forest. After the figs are digested, the seeds are left in deposits of droppings high on another tree's branches. It looks harmless enough, but if the conditions are right, this will be the beginning of a ruthless takeover on a massive scale. It's a race against time, plant style. Slowly, the invading fig tree sends down deadly aerial roots. If the roots are successful in reaching the ground, the host tree is doomed. For now, the germinating invader has access to the water and minerals it needs. Recharged, it sprouts new branches, which begin to smother and strangle the host. Gradually, during a battle that can last for more than 200 years, it's the strangler fig that wins, having killed its host to gain a place where it can thrive and grow in the light, bright canopy.
Not all of the strangler's figs are carried away by monkeys and birds. Some of the fruits fall straight to the ground. There, their potential comes to an end, simply foiled by a hungry agouti, a two-kilo rodent that scavenges on the ground. 